Hi everyone, this is Fred Ramirez from EdX Global. Um, what we do is we provide leadership opportunities for K-12 students so that they could serve their local and global communities. Um, if you look at our at one of the links down below, one of the things that, that we did was we showed kids how to um, grow plants using five gallon buckets uh, because that's been one of the things that they were interested in doing. Some of the students are also interested in building larger planters for, for their schools. And so that's what this project is all about. And so one of the things in which we're going to be doing is, is building a four foot by six foot planter. So if you just think of those dimensions, it's going to be pretty big. And so uh, some of the materials that, that you're going to need is five, two by six, by 12, and, and we, have, we have redwood here. Um, the, the reason why we have redwood is, is that it, it lasts bet better when you, when you put it outside. So we have five of those. Um, and then we have one four by four by six post. Um, if you can't find a four by four by six, which, which I couldn't find, I picked up a four by four by eight. What you also need is, is, is your, of course, all of your safety equipment here, your gloves and goggles, um, something for your ears because, uh, because you are going to need a saw, something to mark with. You're going to need a tape measure, screws, and I just um, went out and bought some three inch deck, deck screws, a drill, and something called hardware cloth. And, and you're gonna see that this goes underneath once we're all done. The reason being is that this, this really helps, helps keep gophers from, from burrowing underneath. Um, and where I live, uh, we have a lot of gophers. All right, and so over here, what, what we have is, is the uncut wood. And I'll be making two, two planters. Here is, is the cut wood. And so what, what I did was I, I took three of the two by six by twelves and I cut them in half. Um, so just straight in half. So at so at so at a six foot length. Two of them, two of the two by six by twelves, I cut into four foot lengths. And so once again, two of the two by six by twelves I just measured to four four feet. And I and I cut them and and since since we're since we're using two by six by twelves, cutting these into the four foot lengths. What's nice is that you're not going to waste any wood. And then for the four by four posts, what you want to do is to cut them in sixteen point five inches. Um, and so what and so this whole system here if you if you were to find a four by four by six it'll it'll come out perfectly to 16 and a half inch posts um, for your four foot by six foot plan all right so let's get started to assemble Okay, now that all of your cuts are, are made, one of the first things that you want to do is assemble the end pieces. And what you want to do is to get three of your four foot pieces and, and you could you could stack them on the on the four by four by sixteen and a half inch in pieces. One of the things that you're gonna to want to do is is to stack three of them, three of the four foot pieces on top of one another. Make sure it's nice and square, nice and nice and even all the way around. And then we'll just start fastening some, some deck screws onto it. All right, last time we built the, built the end pieces. Um, and so now what you're gonna to wanna to do is to put them up 
sideways and you may want someone to help you out with, with this part. Make sure that you're doing it on a pretty flat surface. And now we're going to be getting the six foot pieces and connecting them to the sides, just like you did with the, with the four foot pieces, how, how you just went all the way down the same thing you're just going to do right here to, to build a side. So after you have one side down, have someone help you to flip it over and then we'll do the other side. Okay. This is what your four by six planner is, is going to look like. And, and even though everything is really sturdy, one of the things that, that I like doing with just pieces of, if you could just find some pieces of scrap wood, is I like to put these um, approximately in the middle on all four sides in order for this just to, just to help stabilize things more because once you, once you fill this with, with dirt, it may, all that dirt might um, produce a lot of weight on the, on, on the sides and also on the ends. And so just in case, I just put some support material on, on each of the four sides. All right, uh, we, we put braces down on all four sides and now we're, we're actually headed for the, for the last part. Here, you're gonna need some construction cloth and as you can see, it's, it's wires and no gopher's gonna get through something like that. Um, and so, so that's gonna be spread on the on the bottom so some of the tools that that i use for it is a staple gun and what they call straight aviation snips with with a wire cutter or just straight up some little wire cutters and so what i'm going to be doing is spreading this this construction cloth out cutting it and then i'll just nail it down and since the construction cloth isn't as as wide as as my planner um, I'm gonna have to do this twice and so I'll just start it and then you'll just see what the final project looks like okay this is it we put the construction cloth on it and what's nice is that I have some really cool background music for my for my neighbor and so all we're gonna do now is flip it over put it as as part of our garden put some soil in it and grow some plants and then hopefully everything will start to grow. So try this out if you and if you do, let me know. Thank you and happy gardening.